Lord Dennett, is there a point that the issue is both Biden and Johnson have taken further military action off the table, including the no-fly zone, so he can do what he wants, right? No, he can't really do what he wants, right? Um, what he is doing is actually fundamentally wrong, wrong, wrong. And he and those who are his military commanders who are carrying out his orders will, in the fullness of time, and the price has to be paid, I'm afraid, by Ukrainian people, but the price that's got to be paid eventually by those Russian leaders, evidence is being gathered of the war crimes they are committing, and if any of them survive this, they will go to a war crimes tribunal and they will follow the same fate that others who have gone to war crimes tribunals have followed. The Mladic's, the Kerstich, the Relevans of this world. Um, they will go there. Dan, could I put in at this point? Because we're actually gathering evidence. Now, it doesn't help the people in Kyiv tonight. It doesn't help the people in Ukraine tonight. But, Sorry, I'm but going to cut in at this point. It is not we in the West cannot do not have the right to stand by and say it's unfortunate, this will take time and the poor Ukrainians are going to have to pay the price. I have been saying for over a week now, I have been predicting because I lived among these people for two years. It's no surprise to me the fight they have put up. But what I've been saying for the last week, I will predict Putin will never have Ukraine because they will fight to the last bullet and the last drop of blood. But my great fear is how many tens of thousands of innocent people will pay the price to prevent him. And we simply do not have the right in the West to say, well, it's unfortunate, as you have said, Lord Dennett, that the Ukrainians are going to have to pay the price. This is, and Lord Dennett, you said this morning when you spoke to ITV that this was the most dangerous point in your 71 years on this planet. Well, I'm a little bit younger than you. I've been 59 years on this planet, and I've been saying that for some time. Our Prime Minister said on Sunday and reiterated again today that this was the closest he had seen in his lifetime to an absolute battle between good and evil. This is our 1939 moment. The only difference is, in 1939, Hitler did not have six and a half no. thousand nuclear warheads. OK, Lord Dan, a final word to you, because <clears throat> that's obviously something you need to respond to. But Vladimir Putin does have six and a half thousand nuclear warheads at his disposal. And the Russian military uh, use of nuclear warheads is not like ours in the West, that we keep a distinction between conventional and nuclear. They are quite prepared to use nuclear weapons at a lower tactical level. And the danger of escalation is huge. It is a tragedy, a total tragedy, what is happening. But I'm afraid I cannot be and Boris Johnson and Joe Biden and other Western leaders cannot be swayed by the emotion of doing something that actually is potentially more dangerous, more escalatory, and could result in not thousands or tens of thousands, but frankly, millions of people being killed mm -hmm. and potentially the end of our way of life, this planet, as we know it. Indeed. We have got Indeed. to realize... Sorry, Dan, I've got to get in with one last break. point. F I lived through the 80s through mad, mutually assured destruction, and it was not as scary as the point we're at now. Quite frankly, we have nuclear arsenals in the West. I'll go back to quite happily living with mad to stand by and defend the Ukrainian people from the genocide which has been threatened upon them okay. now. We have a moral duty and, uh, in the West to stand by. In this discussion. I'll end it on one word from me. During the period of mutual assured destruction, we could understand and guarantee there were rational leaders on both sides. There is not a rational leader in the no, Kremlin. There's that not right now. Unfortunately, I agree with you, well, Lord Dan. Good to end on a note of agreement.